friends welcome to my video in this video we'll see how to implement the google sign it uh, approach the auth to approach authentication in your android app so let's begin we'll create a new project and probably i'll name it as google auth authentication And then app and I'll leave the rest of things as it is and click finish and wait for the environment to load. It may take a while. So environment is still loading up. So in the meantime, I would like to show that the steps which I'll be using is is from this particular uh, Google Developer page where they have given the steps how to sign the users in their or uh, with their saved credentials. So the code also the snippet of code they have provided for Java and Kotlin both. I'll be using of course the Java one and uh, yeah so before uh, getting to the code they have also given the dependencies which we need in our Gradle file which is this particular dependency so probably I can copy this one control C and I can add it in my project uh, uh, Gradle dependency so it is still loading so we may have to take uh, we may have to wait over here perfect so the environment seems to have loaded up so what I'll do is I'll go to the Gradle file first and foremost and I'll add the dependencies which I just now copied from there so I think the syntax of implementation has changed it should be in a uh, parenthesis with double quotes so I'll copy paste this part and I'll just replace the library name from what I've got from uh, yeah from the Google developer page perfect okay and now I'll do a sync now it may take a while to sync uh, if it's first time it will take time to download the lab library and once the syncing has happened, as the next step, what I'll do is I'll go to the manifest file, and over here I will add uh, the permission to internet because that's what we required. So I think more or less in terms of configuring, I'm done. I'll start the emulator uh, so that I can launch the app in parallel. I think in the greater file I'll also have to exclude certain packages from getting built. So let the build finish and we'll get to know which particular package we have to exclude so build is successful perfect so no uh, there is no action required so i think build is successful app has come up so this is the layout the default layout what we get in the xml file so yeah okay so first i'll do is i'll start the my design itself so i'll keep the design very simple i think i can keep this texture as it is because this is what i can use to print my output and I'll use one button to do the authentication or to trigger the authentication. So, uh, sign in Google, sign in. Yeah. Okay. I'll give some constraints to it, and that's why I think I can increase the font size of this one a bit. So I guess size in from fourteen to probably I'll increase to twenty. Better. Uh, and yeah. And in the main uh, Java code, first and foremost, I'll do is I'll create a public method, which is like public void button Google sign in. No, I think by mistake I you you press Alt Enter to include the required library for view, and then I'll go back to my layout and quickly associate this particular uh, method. To the on click attribute of this particular button like this perfect so that's all in terms of layout i think i'm done now i'll go to the java code and the other thing which i'll do is i'll create a private class variable which is basically text view text view and i'll associate this with the widget text view find view by id r dot id dot text view perfect okay now i'll go to the google uh, uh, Android uh, the Google developer page and over here we'll see the step so this is step we have done which is basically to include a dependency and now we'll see the code part the snippet what we have to add here so you can go through these pages in details but uh, I'll just take you through very quickly so it asks us to include this part of the code in the on create method itself so before that I have to assign this to uh, class uh, variable so I'll just copy paste over here and you may have to press alt enter to include those uh, required imports over here 
and then I'll go back and copy paste this part of the code in the onCreate method itself. Again, you may have to include the required uh, library. Perfect. So, and then here for this one, we will need the client ID from our uh, Google Cloud project. So, I'll take it up uh, later shortly. So, to do, I have marked myself. Rest of things as it is, I'll probably mark this also as false because otherwise it will just filter by the authorized accounts in the uh, device. So, yeah, this part I'll come back, but let me first complete my code. So, the next part of the code is uh, to begin the signing. So, for that also, I'll just copy paste this and I'll put it in the button. Uh, click so over here. And uh, again, I think this is not sign up request, but this is the sign in request, which is basically from here. So, control C, and if I scroll down, I can change it the variable place okay, so of things I can just place alt enter and it will include the required library and yeah anything left yeah one is left you if you want you can just change these things I'll leave it as it is okay one more thing request one tab uh, that this also we can create a class variable this is a constant you can give any unique number over here and what I can do is I can just click it as a Int. but since it's a constant what I'll do is I'll make it as a static final a static final int and any unique number should be fine so I'm just putting one double zero uh, it should be unique into this particular app that's all and if I go back down here so this is done so this part of the code is fine now if I go back quickly here so how to handle the response here so that also code is given here so we have to like uh, on the own activity result we can put it here so we can just probably copy paste the complete code over here control c and this will be a new method of course so this should be separated down and just keep pressing again alt enter to include all the required uh, imports yeah so that's done and to capture the output what we can do is we can use the text view here yeah that's where we can use the text view set text and we can say uh, authentication authentication done okay i should have done it in double quotes of course because the string okay and username is and then i can print username and in case it fails so i can just probably print this also uh, probably say if you know if it goes to exception right so what i can do is i can print the exception here e dot to string in the text itself and yeah rest of things i'll leave it as it is for simplicity so more or less code is done the only part which is left is uh, to take care of this part so to get the web client id what you should do is you should go to your uh log into your console in the cloud google and uh, in, you can use the, one of your existing projects or you can create a new project also so let me create a new project very quickly and google authentication app project and just click create okay it's giving some errors so i'll do one thing i'll remove the uh, project part and just click create so a new project should get created shortly so we may have to wait uh, a while over here so once the project gets created select that project and in this project then go to the credentials part so go here and credentials and in this we can create something called or 2.0 client id so this is what we will use but before that it says a warning remember to configure or Consent screen with information about your application. So let me do that first and click here. So, no, we can't because you are not a Google Workspace. Okay, so just choose external and confirm. It may be asking the app name. So enter any name. So I'll say Google Authent Auth app. And over here, I'll just select my email ID. There's of things options, I just leave it. 
Download contact information again. I will enter my in email ID program world 1990 at the rate of gmail.com and save and continue. Okay, after entering all the details, the required details, and I can see I'm getting some error. Uh, an error occurred while saving the app. And if I click again, no, it's not working out. So I think I remember what is the problem. Here, the app name should be nothing but the project ID of that particular. Uh, project so just copy paste that and then click finish i think it should work now perfect it worked now now coming to a scope i think uh yeah uh i can leave all the things as default and add the test users i can add probably my test user which is probably programmable email.com Yeah, and then save and continue programmable 1990 at gmail.com and then that's like is then last is summary just click back to dashboard perfect so once uh, this part is done i will go back to the credentials part and here i can create the all 2.0 uh, client id for my uh, app so just click on this select the credentials and over here please note there are lots of options right so uh, you can choose the Android app option. But however, what I will recommend is we can directly use the web application and which, uh, which will give us the client ID which we can use directly from our app. So web application option will work over here. And you can name this anything over here. doesn't matter. Again, Google Authentication app. And click create. So this is the client ID. What we will be needing. So just copy it here. Click OK. Even if you want to copy it later you can copy it directly from by clicking on that button and now i'll go to my particular uh, app and over here i'll replace this part with the string which i just now copied so perfect so if i go so this is the string which i have copied so in terms of application i think uh, coding we are done i'll just rerun it and see how it comes up so I'm expecting everything goes fine, then the text view over here should display me the username of the authentication which is done. Okay, so it's not working. Uh, so what I did was I quickly created another uh, authentication uh, basically the for the android one so what i did was i went to this uh, create credentials and this time i chose the android so i would like to uh, give a note over here that although in this particular place we are using the client id from the web client this one this particular client id however we also need one or 2.0 for the android app and how we can do it is we can uh, probably we can create a new client ID, give any name, it doesn't matter. However, the package name should be the package name of your uh, app, which is this one. And it will also ask you the SHA1 certificate fingerprint. So for that, what you can do is you can go to your Gradle and select the uh, root, the app name, click here, and then just type signing report, or you can just double click below of it. it it's same and just click enter. It may take a while. However, in the down below, in the report, you will get the SHA one, and you can just copy paste this and put it here, and that's it. So once you save, it will give you the Android based client ID. You don't have to do anything, you don't need to use it, but you have to create it in the uh, project for it to work. Now, coming back over here, so that I have created. So, what I'll do is I'll just stop the app. I will rerun the app and i'm hoping this time it should work perfect so it's asking for me to sign in once you click that it will sign in and perfect so it says authentication done which is basically this part of the code line 96 and the username and password is basically giving up so i'm just making it in a new line to see if it comes 
So running it once again, but most likely it will work again. In this time, since it's a subsequent run, it will not even ask you to sign in. It will automatically sign, uh, take the sign in from the previous sign in of the programmer world. Perfect. So it's taken it up. So that's all I wanted to show you uh, that how easy it is. Uh, you just need the code, and code is already given in this particular link of Google Developer page. You have to mo uh, modify a few things here and there, which I've shown in my video. However, uh, more or less, the complete code uh, works as it is. If you can put it the way I put it over there, I'll provide the complete code base in my uh, portal for reference. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have